welcome to the SPSS learning tutorial this is Shakil Ahmed in today's tutorial we learn how to generate random numbers from a specific distribution uh, like uh, in many studies the researchers want to uh, generate random numbers from specific distributions uh, like in uh, clinical trials or randomized control trials uh, the investigators want to assign the uh, people or respondents or the participants uh, to the control and treatment groups uh, randomly so I will show you how to assign the uh, people to different groups uh, with uh, random uh, with the help of random number uh, so we start uh, with uh, generating a random number from uniform distribution first uh, for this purpose we need to go to the option of compute variable and uh, go to the option of uh, a random numbers and uh, you will see a list of uh, distributions in uh, this uh, function and special variable list uh, for example we want to generate data from a variable from uniform distribution so you need to name a new variable variable uniform this is our new variable and uh, we need to generate a random numbers from uniform distribution so uh, you first you need to first select the distribution from this box and then uh, send to to the uh, numeric expression from using this uh, arrow uh, and uh, a random variable dot uniform and you have two question marks the first question mark suggests that the first uh, value is minimum value of the uniform distribution from which we are generating uh, so I just uh, want to generate a random number between 0 and 1 basically ran uh, for generating random probabilities we use a random variable from uniform distribution as probabilities always uh, occurs uh, occur between 0 and 1 uh, so uh, for generating probabilities randomly you need to uh, select the option of a random variable uh, using uniform distribution and uh, the minimum value will be 0 and the maximum value will be 1 and then uh, click on ok uh, you will see a new variable in your data set and this is variable uniform so this is uh, generated randomly for first student the pro probability is 0.21 and the second student the probability is much higher which is 0.77 so the data on 20 students as we already created uh, have a new variable on uniform uh, scale from between 0 and 1 uh, similarly we can uh, generate random number by a normal distribution using the same option and uh, selecting the random variable uh, random normal random variable and you need to uh, put the random normal variable in this expression numerical expression box and the mean and standard deviation of the random variable as mentioned here mean and standard deviation uh, we need to insert here if we want to generate a random uh, variable with uh, zero mean and variance and standard deviation 5 then we set the first value as 0 and the second value as 5 and then click on ok you need to uh, name a new variable as normal 
and then click on ok you will see another variable as variable normal uh, which have values which has value between um, minus 6 and uh, plus 6 I think almost minus 7 and plus 7 uh, the standard deviation was 5 and the uh, mean was 0 so the values are generated around about 0 or uh, some values are positive and some values are negative similarly uh, you can uh, assign the 20 students uh, randomly between two groups uh, each with 50 percent are uh, one with 40 and the second with uh, 60 percent so for this uh, you need to generate a variable uh, from binomial or, or you uh, can also truncate a variable after generating a variable from uh, uniform distribution but I try with uh, binomial one and then select the random variable binomial and the binomial random variable and the value uh, will be 1 as we are generating in data from Bernoulli distribution with 1 and 0 1 stand for the treated group and the 0 stand for the control group and the probability is 0.5 that each group uh, approximately contain 50% uh, data or 50% uh, participant in each group so we set 0.5 uh, at this option and then click on ok we will see the binomial random variable with uh, many zeros and uh, as less number of ones 1 2 3 and uh, 1 2 3 4 there are 7 ones 7 people in a treatment group and the remaining 13 pupils are in control group and there is another option to assign the people in uh, two groups using the option of uh, arithmetic and then go to the truncate and uh, send it to the above option and then uh, you need to generate a random number between uh, from uniform distribution between 0 and 2 so the value we will get between 0 and 2 and uh, click on ok sorry the variable uh, name should be changed as treatment group then ok sorry I give space between the variable name and uh, you will see the new variable treatment group and uh, you will see 50% values in treatment group and 50% values in uh, control group 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and uh, 11 I think 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 there are 11 values in treatment group and the remaining 9 values in the control group so you can 
assign the values randomly uh, there is uh, another option of uh, assigning uh, the values to the treatment group and control group using the option of uh, a random sample option so uh, we can discuss uh, it in uh, next video uh, thank you for watching the video and subscribing the channel